to make Mama's bunny. Here's her little bunny. And we are actually gonna do the background in a little striate blue. I'm gonna do my very best to um, recreate it as close as possible. So I am going to grab a brush. I'm gonna move this up here for a second. I hope we have a ball too, I think we will. Mom is a beach lover as well. We've always taken beach vacations. So I just thought I would hit Mother's Day and her 83rd birthday all in one fell swoop and uh, take her on vacay. Cause she's, she always is a little envious when I go on vacation. So I thought, well, all right. All right, Mama, I'm taking you this time. So I'm excited for her for that. I might have to carry her on my back down to the water. But I'm kind of putting on a little bit of white on. And I'm going to grab a plate. And I'm going to squirt in a little bit of a smoky blue. It is uh, called Midnight Garden. I just bought this the other day. Hello, Donna. I just bought this the other day, so I'm hoping it's a good blue to use. Let's squirt a little out and see. It's kind of a smoky blue. I love it though. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna offload some of that off. I'm gonna get some on my brush, and I am going to go just like in on her jar. I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. Oh, Charlene, thank you. I'm gonna go up and down and just try to make some streaks. Uh, my paint's a little wet for that, but we'll get a dry brush after we get the paint on. She won't mind if it's not perfectly the same. I mean, after all, I'm taking her on a beach vacation. She can't be too upset with me, right? So I'm gonna get that color on. And I'm gonna grab another brush that's not wet with paint. And I'm just gonna pull it down and see if we can get some streaks. Nah, not really, but that's okay. We're just gonna do it like this, and she'll be plenty happy. I'm gonna get a little bit of white on my plate and hit my edges too. Since that's such a dark color, I wanna hit my edges and with a little bit of that color and white mixed in so it's not such a contrast. So, you can see I'm a little messy about it. I'm not trying to be perfect. Just gonna get a little color on that edge. Now let's do this side. That's what somebody asked me. You get the thick canvas from blocks. Now the thick canvas is, came from Blick. Yeah, Dick Blick, but they sell this uh, thickness canvas at Michael's as well. So yeah, I'm, I almost always use the thicker. I just like it, especially for the small sizes because they, I call them shelf sitters. They'll sit right on a shelf without a hanger. Thank you very much, Terry. So we'll put a little color on the bottom. And we'll put a little color on the top. We're about to run out of a little color. Oh my goodness, look at that, that's too much. That was a big blob. The back of my sign is plain. Um, it is just wood, I didn't even stain it because I didn't wanna stain it because I thought that if if I made a horrific error on the front, I could fix it by doing the back. So the back of this, if you're talking about the whole sign, or if you're just talking about the neon parts, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna work with that. Just like that. Let's put this away. And I need to blow dry this for a second. So give me a minute to plug in my dryer. 
and we'll get this sucker dry and then we could keep on keeping on. Oh, D, what a wonderful idea. Walk and sit, walk and sit. This shouldn't take but a second. And voila dry already. Let me plug my phone back in so we don't end up having low battery and disappearing. All right, so that's nice and dry. We need to just let that sit for a few minutes so it's not hot before we transfer our image. And I'm going to use stylus and graphite paper. Hey, Marty, how you darling? How are ya? This color is fantastic. I just got it. Um, of course, it's mixed with blue. I mean, with white, but it's called Midnight Garden. I love it. Let me show you close up while the canvas cools off. It's kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. Let me put it on the back side of here so you can kind of see. Kind of a dark blue green. I love it. Love it. Fantastical. All right. So, hey, Lily. How are you? Thank you, honey. You are talented too. Don't think I don't know that. Okay. So, here's our cute little bunny. And we are going, yeah, it's kind of dark teal ish. It's really a smoky dark teal. Charlene. Um, here's my mama's little bunny. I've traced it onto uh, tracing paper so I could try to get it as close as possible. So I'm going to kind of situate it here on my canvas. I almost wish I'd made it a little bigger, but we're going we're gonna to go with it. And I need some tape and I don't see my tape. I think I took it home. Here's some. We're going to tape that booger down. Lee, I close tomorrow on my new house. So excited. I'm going to use my stylus, and I'm just going to trace around the outside edge. I'm not going to trace any of the details yet because I want to trace the little body, and then we're going to paint the body, get it dry, and then we'll retrace the inside details. And be done. So we're going to paint the whole inside one color. I'm just going to kind of leave that right there. We're going to use Vintage White by Folk Art. Thank you. I'm so excited, y'all. This is my dream house. I just don't even know what to say. I cried when they called me today. I cried when they confirmed the closing. I cried like a little baby. So excited. I haven't owned my own home in a very long time. And so I'm excited about being able to paint a wall the color I want to paint it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use this vintage white and just fill in the bunny because he's probably going to take more than one coat over the blue. So we'll get that done, get it dry. Come on, Cindy. I'm just full of what my grandpa used to say. This is probably not proper to say on a live, but he used to say we were full of piss and vinegar. So that's kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> I am Charlene. I actually, when I, the last time I owned a house, I sold my house in 2010, 
and I had three quarters of an acre then, and I had a riding lawnmower, and I really actually enjoyed cutting grass. And if I find I don't have time or the wherewithal to do it, I will hire myself a yard boy. I will hire myself a yard man. The house I'm living in right now that I'm renting, is the yard is tiny, it's like a little garden home. And the yard is tiny, itsy bitsy. And I have a guy who comes every other week in the summer and cuts my grass. So if I decide I don't wanna cut it, then I'll get him to come cut it. I can't wait for y'all to see the backyard. It is spectacular. There's a fireplace outside. <laughs> I'm gonna be rotten, y'all, promise. I'm gonna be rotten to the core with this house. I'll turn this sideways a little. I haven't done anything with the shoe strap yet. We're gonna do that at the end of this live. And we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that it works. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna take the advice of many of you and cut that strap off because it is not a useful strap anyway. It is definitely not required to keep the shoe on my foot. And if some other disaster happens, then I also have a new pair or another pair that I can wear. All right, so there's one coat and you can see it didn't really cover over that blue. It's cheaper to buy than rent in my area too, Charlene. So the house that I'm buying is going to be less than, uh, my rent is. My rent is ridiculous. If you want to live somewhere that's not the slum in a decent house in this area, you're going to pay close to three grand for rent. Okay, let's dry this real quick. I'm going to have to unplug again. Hang on. Let's see. Rent here is ridiculous. And we have one rental company that's like buying up all the property. They're buying up all the new homes that are coming on the market and, you know, not giving anybody a chance to um, buy anything, really, because they're paying way over asking. So I got lucky. All right, we're going to let that going to happen. The minute I unplugged, the minute I unplugged my phone, it's got low battery. All right. Hopefully that will do it. We'll let that cool for one second so we're not painting hot. Darlene, are you talking about piss and vinegar? <laughs> that sounds, that's my grandpa. Piss and vinegar. All right, so I think that, no, Terry, I'm gonna keep my studio here. My studio, I have a, a store and in the back of my store is my studio right now and that will remain. I'll tell you what, I just work better when I have my own place to paint that's outside of my home because if I work from home, I tend to procrastinate. I always say, oh, I can do that after lunch, or I'm gonna go do X, Y, Z time first, and then I'll come back and, and work, and then I just never do. When I was working out of my house when I first moved back here, I was terrible, y'all. I was bad. The one good thing is you can go live anytime you want and have all the wine you want while you're live because you don't have to drive. <laughs> but that's okay. So let's get this on and then dry it and then we can plug my phone back up. Yeah, there's the rental companies around here are vicious. 
Let me get a little bit more paint. That's exactly what's happening, Betty. They're buying up all the houses, paying 20 grand over asking price. And then they're charging out the Wahoo more than your mortgage would cost for rent. Because they can. And let me tell you from experience, they don't fix anything. If you got something broken in your rental house, might as well just fix it yourself or live with it because they don't care. They don't care. All right, that looks pretty good. Ginger, you have got you have got to be kidding me. That's insane. 82,000 over asking. Holy moly, holy moly. Thank you, Elaine. Let's get this dry before my phone hits low battery again. That is show enough country, ain't it, Phyllis? Thank you for the stars. I think that's good. Let me plug my phone back up. Go back and forth. I need a multi-plug is what I need. Okay, so now I'm going to let that cool off for one second. Tell your yard guy to mow without a shirt. That is hilarious. Hilarious. Tammy, I do have merchandise to purchase. And if you are in the Hernando area, I am on Highway 51 South, right across the street from the courthouse in Hernando. Whoops, sorry. That's exactly right, Charlene. He'll really cry poor if you don't pay your rent. Thank you, Tammy, for the stars. <laughs> Darling, hilarious. Okay, so now that my bunny is painted, I'm going to go back and just fill in some of the detail. And I'm really doing this uh, thank you for the sprinkles, Carol, because I want it to be as close to mom's bunny as possible. So we're going to make sure we get it right. So I'm going to go in and put his little bunny eyes where mama's were. And it had a little heart nose. And a little bow. and the tiniest little sunflower you have ever seen. And we are going to add one tiny, because we're glass artists, right? We're gonna add one tiny piece of copper or bronze glass right in the middle of that sunflower so we can resin. <laughs> what do you think about that? I hope she loves it. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna peel this off. Let's stick it over here so it doesn't stick to everything. And I'm gonna get her cute little jar, so cute. I'm gonna make sure that's in front of me. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is the little bunny ears. So you can see that there's a little bit of pink inside the ears and its little cheeks and its nose is that pink. Now I didn't have the right pink, so I'm just using the pink that I have. That's kind of a rosy color and I didn't really have a rose. So I'm gonna use this color, which is hot pink. And we're gonna do a little bit of, ugh, hang on, it's being ornery. Pink work. <laughs> I just stuck the bottle in my water instead of the brush. 
That's how jacked up I am today, guys. <laughs> I stuck. Instead of sticking my brush in the water, I, I, I dipped my paint bottle in the water. Yeah, I got it all together, y'all, <laughs> all together. All right, so in my pink, I'm gonna dip just the tip corner of my brush into that pink, and we're gonna make a little bit of a shadowy um, pink ear, inner ear on our bunny. So go back and forth. I'm gonna start at, <laughs> I'm gonna start at the top and just bring it down and make a little pink inner ear. And we'll do it again on the other side. Just the teeniest bit on the corner. I'll float back and forth. And we'll do it again. Just come right inside that ear that one's a little darker. We may have to go back and darken up the other one. And let's see, we had little pink cheeks. Hang on, I gotta get some of that off the brush. Just the tiniest amount of pink on the cheeks. Hang on. Gotta do mama's piece justice. And I'm gonna use a, the teeny, teeny, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, little barely have, have a hair. Yeah, I'm, I might try to, um, well, it's cracked down, all the way down to the bottom on the inside, so I don't know if that would work, but we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna paint her cute little nose with this same pink. I'm gonna get my brush saturated really nice. And she's got this tiny little heart-shaped nose. Little tiny heart-shaped nose. It's gonna need a second coat. All right, I'm gonna get a little black and we're gonna do the eyes and his cute little mouth. Just a tiny bit. So for the eye, I'm gonna use my stylus, just do a little dot. So I'll get in to my black and just add a tiny little dot. Or not quite that tiny. All right, we'll let that dry. And I'm gonna use that teensy weensy little brush again. This is actually a size two. And I'm gonna get it in the black and we're gonna do his mouth. I wanna make sure my brush is nice and loaded. And we'll do his little mouth. Oh, look, so cute. Hope the mama likes it. So now, whoops. <laughs> I wish y'all could see what a mess I'm making. I am a hot mess over here. I'm gonna get some avocado green. Just one little bit. And I'm gonna get this uh, Midnight Garden again, just one little drop. We're gonna make his little bow on his neck out of that color. I'm gonna use this little bitty um, brush again. I'm just gonna load it up with that tealy green, tealy blue. And we'll do his little necklace, his little bow. Oh. I'm glad my hands are fairly steady today. Oh, that's awesome, Rita. We're all addicted to resin. So there's the little strand. All right. Now let's do 
Um, I got green. Let's do a little bit of antique gold for the flower. Put a little bit out here and a little bit of brown for the center. This is raw umber. I, I, you have to hold your mouth right, Terry. If you don't, nothing gets painted correctly. Isn't that right? Definitely. All right, so I'm gonna put this brown right in the middle of my sunflower. I'm gonna go into my antique gold and I'm gonna make all my little petals. Ooh, definitely have to hold my mouth right because this is the tiniest flower ever. <laughs> teeny, teeny, weeny, weeny. Go back this way. Let's see, bitsy little petals. I kind of got into my flower center there. So let me wipe that off and get a little bit more brown. Make that better. And now I'm gonna do green. I'm gonna add a little bit of green to my brush. And we're gonna do the little bit of flower stem. So I really need something for under my hand. It's driving me crazy. Ooh, I need a block. Hang on. And then little leaves. Then we're gonna dip into a little bit of white to highlight our leaves a little. I'm just gonna use this vintage white that's already out here and highlight the middle of the leaves a little. So they're not one dimensional. And I think I'll even get a tiny bit of black, just the tiniest bit, and kind of outline the leaves. All right, you're getting there. All right, I'm going to add some of this brown. Oops, that was too much water to my brush and I'm going to outline where his hands are holding the sunflower. And instead of doing all that shading around the outside edge like on hers, we're gonna use the pen. She was, Terry. It's so cute, isn't it? I'm gonna use a little bit of this to go around my sunflower petals. Just the tiniest amount on the petals. And I'm gonna give this little head a little bit of brown too. All right, I done started, so let's just go with it. Well, he's got little lines in his feet. So now I'm just kind of making a few adjustments here and there. 
try to get it as close to mama's as I can. I'm going to put a few little strokes in these petals. So, mom, I hope I did you right. So cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do that mama does not have is, hang on, I'm going to do a little bit. Lighten that up just a little. I'm going to go back into that pink and do a little more on his nose because it needs it. All right, so I'm going to use my pen. Sorry, Mom, I have to. This is my graphic pen. I can find it. It is my graphic 0 0.5, and I'm going to do a little outlining. We're going to put a tiny little piece of glass on that sunflower because it wouldn't be mine if I didn't. Short strokes. Boom. We're going to do some ear strokes, too. We'll do a little eyelash. Oh, we need to do the tiniest Etsy Betsy teeny weeny dot, right? Oh, that was too big. Hang on. Back to the black. Tiniest bit of white to those eyes. All right, so let's see. We'll go around his arms, dot, dot, dot. Feet. We'll do those lines. We're gonna do a little hashtag here and there, just cause we can. Hands, around the petals, just a few little strokes, nothing too fancy. And, <laughs> mom, I hope you like it. That's about as close as I can get to 1990, Mother. We are gonna use the tiniest little piece of bronze. Let me see if I can find an itsy bitsy piece. You know what I'm gonna use instead? Something that's the perfect size. That is a bubble. Let me find a bubble. Oh, I just dumped that bag of glass. Here's a bubble right here. I'm gonna use a bubble right in the middle oh, of the flower. <laughs> and that is our added touch. He doesn't have a name. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to ask Mad Margie if he has a name and we will honor him with that name. And we're gonna let this be. Uh, yes, an eight would work as long as it is really fine. Any size will work as long as it has like a real fine point on it like that, all right? Any size you have. All right, I, my temptation would be to add something else, but since this is Mama's and she wanted me to just redo it like it was, we are gonna let that go just like that. And we're gonna add just tiny, the tiniest amount of resin to put on our little bubble and just to give it a little oomph. So I'm gonna mix it all in this cup. I'm gonna grab some gloves. And I'm gonna fix my shoe too, so don't go anywhere. We're gonna fix that shoe. All right, so I'm gonna mix the smallest possible amount of resin I can. I'm gonna mix, I guess I'm gonna mix, where's my thing? I really only want to mix an eighth ounce, but I'm going to mix a quarter ounce and that will be fine. So let me mark my cup. So there is my eighth ounce line and then my quarter and we'll get started. So we're going to pour, I'm going to move this so I don't make a boo-boo and I'm going to pour hardener. In the wedding is this Saturday. Whoa, Nellie. 
Slow your roll. One more little drop. All right, boom. And an eighth of resin. Thank you, Catherine. To my line. So go real slow so I don't overdo it. I'm gonna stop there and let it catch up and make sure I don't over pour. I'm gonna grab a stir stick because my big thingy won't fit in that. Where are my stir sticks? I need a baby one. All right, let me look. That is perfect. So we are gonna mix that tiny amount of resin in this little baby cup. And it is exciting, Kimberly. And I'm gonna mix it with this little teeny, teeny little coffee stir stick for three minutes. So if anybody wants to chat, has a question, I am free for three minutes to uh, chit chat and answer any questions you might have. I'm just gonna stir away. So let me know. He's so cute. I hope my mother loves him. Yeah, when 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 I was young in my 20s and 30s, my mom um, was a crafter, an artist crafter, and did the craft show circuits and did all kinds of cute little paintings, bunnies and watermelons and, you know, all kinds of little things. Joanne, I'm wearing the purple one with the little sequins on the shoulder. It honestly, it mostly because it is the most comfortable. It's kind of a jersey knit and I um, chose it because I won't have to hold my breath the whole time. <laughs> yes, Christine, it is finished. Uh, it's still laying in my garage where I finished it. We're going to try to put it together tomorrow and take a picture so we can see what it looks like. Yes, Carol, I did send out a text that I was going live. If you didn't get it, um, make sure you're really getting our messages. You can text me, hey, Cindy, to the number 901-519-2923, and that should get you set up. Oh, yeah, beach buggies would be cool. I was thinking about just laying her down and rolling her. <laughs> just roll her to the edge. Just kidding, y'all. Just kidding. So we're just gonna continue to stir. I'm just scraping the bottom and the sides so it's mixed real nice. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do my shoe before I do this so that my hands aren't icky. Oh, I will, Christine. I can't wait for you guys to see Michaela's dress. She looks like a freaking movie star. No, Joanne, we're going to fix it right now. As soon as this resin is done, we're going to fix it first before my hands get yucky. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, it does cost me to text everybody. Depending on how many people I text, I pay for every single one. Rebecca, the wedding is at uh, Wise Acre Brewery, and there are about 100 people coming. It's an outdoor wedding, and we got about 100 people. It's uh, being catered by Central Barbecue. Stir, stir. It's a long time for an eighth of an ounce, isn't it? <laughs> You're welcome, Jill. Thank you, Catherine. So before my hands are all yucky and resined, I'm gonna make sure I don't have any on my hands. I'm gonna grab my shoe. 
And I don't know if you know this, but this is the shoe I'm wearing to my son's wedding, and it broke, okay? The, this strap broke right out of there. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my stylus to help me, and I am going to drip a tiny drop of resin down in that hole very carefully. Oh, that wasn't carefully. I'll wipe that off. And I'm gonna stick the strap back in and pray that it stays. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna cut that strap off. <laughs> oh, it went in really nicely. Let's shove it in real good. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it to dry. So tomorrow we'll come back and look at it and tug at it and see if it's stuck. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cut it right off. All right, so now we'll do our art piece. <laughs> she is an angel, Linda. They are very cute. Oh, I'm taking some flip-flops, Ann. I will, Joanne. So I'm gonna just cover my little bubble and then I'm just going to drizzle this right over the top. And we'll just spread it around. This is why I wanted to do my shoe first, because I knew I was going to do this. I knew I was going to spread it with my hands to make it faster. And that thing's moving, but I'll stick it back where it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go right along my edge to make sure we got right up to the edge. I'm going to push my little bubble back where it belongs. We'll take these off. And I am going to use my heat gun because my torch is still at my house with the wedding backdrop. So we'll use the heat gun ugh, to pop any bubbles. And then I'll give you guys a nice close up. <gasps> Woo, that scared me. Look, I see a little place from this. All right, that is done. Let me scoot that over just a smidge. And let's show you this up close and personal. So if you, my mother is thrilled as well, we're all so excited. They've actually been dating almost eight years. So uh, it's about time. <laughs> so here's my mom's little painted jar that she painted a long time ago that broke. And she wanted me to paint her a cute little replacement. And that is her cute little replacement. I hope she loves it. Do you think she will? He's kind of cute. He's not perfect, but he is cute. 